Today I'll show you vehicles that are costing between 65,000 to 100,000. So if you're in the market and you've got that kind of budget, well, watch up until the end. So the first one you can see for yourself from the front end, it looks okay. There aren't any too many scratches or any dents that are visible. So this one is a 2010 Audi A4 1.8T. It's a category B and then it has traveled uh, 248,000 kilometers and cash price is 68,900. So yeah, if you're looking for an OD, consider this one and then you can see you've got a cracked windscreen, which is one of the things they listed as well on the DECRA report. And then they also listed that uh, the engine, it is uh, leaking oil and then uh, both are front tires, they are smooth, they need to be changed and then there is also an engine check light on this one. So yeah, make sure before you buy this vehicle, have it checked thoroughly and then you can see this side, there is a minor dent there close to the fender, that should be an easy fix. Then as you check out at the back side of your vehicle, you can see your boot it is fine and then that back window it is also in good condition and this one being a sedan, it means you get uh, more uh, space for you to put all your stuff, your groceries and your luggage and then you can see this side uh, there is also that line that just needs to be uh, cleaned and then this side it is okay, no scratches or any dents your window as well it is okay then checking out at the door just some minor uh, scratches those uh, should be an easy fix and then you've got your view mirror there it looks all good and then uh, checking out at this side uh, on the uh, fender there it looks okay and then it has got a green sticker meaning you have to fix all those other things that we mentioned earlier on and then that's the interior of the vehicle it comes with leather seats they look all in good condition and then also those are your back seats they are all in good condition yeah so so if you're interested in an Audi, put this one on your list. And then moving on to our second vehicle, you can see from the front end, uh, there is uh, a part which is missing just uh, close to that uh, fog lamp. So you also need to fix that. But overall, everything looks okay. So this one is a 2014 Chevrolet Sonic 1.40. It's a category B. It has traveled 178,000 kilometers and price is 70,000. So yeah, if you're interested in this one, put it on your list. You can see as well on your fender there, just uh, some few marks. And then uh, as we check out at uh, this door, the view mirror, it looks uh, that uh, it needs to be uh, worked on. Just a few marks as well on it. And then on this door, it looks okay, just as a minor dance. If you are somebody who is not so particular, you can drive this vehicle as is. And then your alloy wheels, they show a bit of damages. So if you want uh, to restore them, you can so long do so. And then checking out at the back part, you can see your boot, it is fine. And then the back window, it is also good. Then you can see the Sonic RS. So yeah, if you're interested, definitely do consider this one. And then I'm um, checking out this side. There aren't any scratches or any dents that are visible. And then as we check out at uh, this back door, and that's where you open the door from. So in case you, if you were wondering where the handle is. And then as we move towards the driver's door, you can see your window is clean. The door itself, it is okay. And then your view mirror as well, a little bit dirty. Just needs to be worked on and then you can see your bonnet um, just some minor chips here and there so if you somebody who's not particular it's still a uh, good to go and then you can see there you've got uh, that green sticker meaning there are some issues that you just need to fix and then this one luckily it was open so that's the interior of the vehicle everything really looks okay your steering wheel it is fine and then you can see this side as well it is fine and then also the good thing it has got leather seats which are quite easy to clean and then at the back everything looks okay they don't show any signs of any damage at all And then moving on to our third vehicle for the day, you can see the front end, this needs no introduction, it's a Renault and then you can see your headlamps, they are all in good condition, you don't need to work on them. So this one is a 2015 Renault Sandero 1.6 stepway, it's a category B, it has done only 86,000 kilometers and selling price is 70,000. You can see for yourself the windscreen, it is cracked. So that's one thing that you will also need to fix and then as you check out at this side, it looks okay and then both are front and uh, back tires they are smooth so they also need to be changed and then as well this one it has got an engine check light so also get that one checked and then as you check out at this side you can see those wheel arcs they can be restored uh, they are sort of like uh, color fading and then you can see here at the back 
uh, your boot it is fine there aren't any scratches or any dents that are visible and so is your window it is also clean there aren't any scratches at all and then also that tint is still intact which is a good thing then your backlights they are all in good condition quite clean as well then as you move uh, towards at uh, this side you can see there on your wheel arc it just needs to be brought back to life it should be good to go and then you can see this door and your window they are all in good condition your handles they just need a bit of more cleaning that should be an easy thing to do and then you've got your view mirror which is damaged so you can replace that uh, that also should be an easy thing to do and then checking out at the front once more uh, just uh, a few marks here and there if you are not particular you can drive the vehicle as is you can see there you've got a green sticker meaning that you have to fix those things and then that's the interior of the vehicle it doesn't look so bad nothing shows that it's damaged or anything like that so if you're interested definitely put this one on your list as we move on to vehicle number four for the day please take a moment like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we're still on our way to 5,000 subscribers so as you can see this one as well at uh, the front end it doesn't look too bad uh, this one it's a 2012 opel astra so it's a category b it has traveled 159,000 kilometers and cash price is 78,900 then as you can see guys it has got a cracked windscreen which is one of the things that they mentioned on the decra report and then also the back tires uh, they also need to be uh, fixed as well uh, they are sort of like smooth and then also it has got an engine check light uh, so yeah do get that one checked maybe it might be something major or it might be something very very tiny or maybe it's just an error code that needs clearing then you can see the interior of the vehicle it looks okay there aren't any damages uh, that are visible on these seats and also the steering wheel you can see it's fine and then also your infotainment area as well then checking out at the back seats everything looks neat i really like uh, these uh, leather seats uh, they don't show any signs of any damage at all and then you can see there you've got your end brake and also your mats everything looks okay uh, from the interior only the outside maybe um, where there are a few or scratches and uh, dents that you just need to fix and then you can see there on that tire it's sort of like a budging out so you just need to fix that and then that is that minor scratch that you also need to fix and then at the back here your boot is fine and also that window it is all in good condition and then uh, checking out this side you can see the table everything uh, looks uh, really okay it doesn't have any uh, scratches or only one day at the bottom that should be an easy fix as well so yeah remember guys when you're buying these uh, used uh, vehicles or like a second hand vehicles there is no way you would buy like a spotless vehicle especially if the vehicle is a 2012 model you know you're bound to find all those kind of things but anyways the vehicles they are still drivable and if you are somebody who is not particular you can still drive this vehicle and own it for the next five or even ten years and then uh, checking out at the front end it looks okay uh maybe uh, that scratch you can fix it if you want and then moving on to vehicle number five so if you've always wanted to own a mercedes and you've got less than 100k here is one for you to consider so you can see from this side it looks okay there aren't any scratches or any dents this one is a 2008 mercedes-benz cls so it's a category b it has traveled a whooping 211,000 kilometers and cash price is 84,900. so i went through the decra report and the only thing they listed them was that are both front tires they are smooth so that's the only issue with this particular vehicle so if you're really interested in a mercedes definitely i would recommend uh, to go and check this one so as you can see this side at uh, the vehicle it looks okay there aren't any scratches or any dents uh, that are visible and then you can see for yourself at uh, this side as well it uh, looks okay and then also the other thing that i noticed uh, the service history on this vehicle it is unknown so yeah if you buy this one definitely get uh, the vehicle checked up with a professional if possible you can take it to mercedes uh, themselves and then they'll check the vehicle for you so checking out at uh, this side everything looks okay no scratches or any dents uh, that i could see and uh so yeah i really think that if you go for this one you will be actually uh be getting a good uh, vehicle considering that they haven't listed any problems at all 
on it and then you can see your alloy wheels they are still in good condition and then your lights as well they are all in good condition just maybe a little bit of a cleaning then that should be able to bring these uh, lights back uh, to life and then it has got a green sticker then you can see that's the interior of the vehicle the seats they are all in good conditions no signs of any damages at all and then look at how clean as well though how uh, those back seats are you can see they are very clean and then uh, at the top you also get uh, this sunroof which is also a cool thing so yeah if you're interested put this one on your list and then moving on to vehicle number six for the day as you can see from the front end uh, there is a lot of work that needs to be done on this one especially down there if you want to bring this vehicle back to life uh, i've got a couple of dents that you need to deal with and then also on that bonnet there is also that uh, dent that you also need to deal with and then it has got a cracked windscreen so this one is a 2011 toyota corolla 1.6 professional it's a category b it has traveled 156,000 kilometers cash price is 89,000. 900 and then i went through the decra report and they noted that the engine is smoking excessively and then also there is an engine check light so yeah definitely you you have to get at uh, this vehicle checked out and then you can see this side it looks okay your doors they are all in good um order and then you can see your windows as well they are quite clean no scratches or any dents that are visible and then as you move toward the back everything uh, looks okay there aren't any scratches or any dents uh, that are visible and then uh, checking also your boot you can see it is uh, quite okay no scratches and then uh, down there on the bumper that's where you've got a small uh, scratch that you need to fix if you are somebody who is very particular but if you don't mind you can drive the vehicle as is and then you can see this side everything looks okay your top it is fine and then your window as well it is also good no signs of any damages at all driver's door it looks okay and then also uh, your window it is in good condition and then you can see your view mirror it looks uh, good as well and then checking out at uh, this fender it looks okay it's only i think at uh, this uh, front bumper as well you can see close to the headlight there that uh, you need to work on and then also on that uh, bonnet as well just a few marks here and there it has got a green sticker meaning you have to fix all those issues that we listed be above and then you can see there your interior it looks okay so yeah if you're interested in the vehicle definitely put it on your list and then moving on to vehicle number seven for the day so this one is a 2003 bmw 5 series 540i so mileage it doesn't have uh, nothing is uh, written down as the mileage of the vehicle you can see it has got a green sticker and then also it's a category b selling price is 40,900 so on this one guys there are about nine issues that we listed on the decra report and i'll try to go on each and every one of them as we proceed and then you can see the interior of the vehicle it looks okay the leather seats there they don't look uh, damaged at all and then uh, your this door it looks uh, fine just a minor scratch uh, there that should be an easy fix and then you can see down there your wheels uh, they are all in good uh, condition and then as you move uh, towards the back side of the vehicle it looks uh, okay only down there on the bumper that's where you just need to fix uh, maybe a little bit then you can see uh, here that is your boot uh, it looks okay and then this being a 5 series so you get that gigantic boot uh, space as well and then checking out at uh, this side it looks okay so uh, one of the things they listed on the decra was uh, that uh, the interior mirror it is um, obviously missing and then the indicator it doesn't work uh, correctly and then also does the water it doesn't also work and then there is a vein plate which is missing so i don't know what could be the reason there anyways checking out uh, the interior of the vehicle you can see the leather since they are not so bad uh, because also remember this is a 2003 vehicle so yeah it has seen its days and then you've got also that i'm not sure if it is a phone or if that one actually works and then they also listed that uh, both tie rod ends they are um, they need to be replaced and then uh, your fog lights they are also defective uh, your airbag a uh, light is also illuminated and then the steering wheel itself it's hard to operate and then you can see at the top there it has got a sunroof so if you are going to buy this vehicle make sure you go with a mechanic or if you generally know what you are doing then you can go for it but uh for me i think this vehicle is it just have a number of issues that i wouldn't uh, really buy it
So moving on to vehicle number 8 for the day, you can see the front end, it looks very neat, your headlamps, they are quite neat, no need for you to bring them back to life, and then your fork lamps, they are also good, only that uh, scratch that is there on the wheel arc, and then you can see, this one is a 2012 Hyundai i10 1.8 GLS Executive, it's a category B, it has done 179,000 kilometers and selling price is 97,900. So yeah, if you are interested, definitely put this one on your list as we check out at this door, at the view mirror and the window, they are all good, no scratches or any dents that are visible, your back door and window, they are also in good condition. So on this particular vehicle, remember it's a category D, it's a category B, uh, so uh, one thing that they mentioned is that uh, the steering wheel it is uh, noisy when you're operating it and then the fog lights at uh, the front they are defective although they look good i think maybe the bulb it just needs to be replaced and then there is an engine check light as well on this one so yeah uh, do get it checked thoroughly before you make that final decision and then you can see for yourself at uh, the exterior this side it looks okay no scratches or any dents that are visible then uh, also the back door it looks good your driver's door as well and um, it's very neat no scratches or any dents uh, that are visible and then checking out at uh, this fender it looks uh, fine and then i uh, saw so your headlamps they look all clean and then it has got a green sticker meaning you have to fix all those other things that we mentioned earlier on and then that is the interior of the vehicle it comes with a leather seats which are still in good condition they don't show any signs of any damage at all and then you can see for yourself your back seats and then uh, this window it was slightly opening so yeah uh, at least you were able to see just a little bit 